back again. It's Elaine Penner and I'm cooking. I hope your Thanksgiving came out really good. Ours came out really nice. Dr. Duncan was oh, off the chain. But you know what I did? After it took me three and a half hours to bone that bad boy, I had to bone the duck too. And I took the duck bones and the turkey bones and <laughs> some chicken that I had to refrigerate the bone, you know, the necks and stuff like that. I, I boiled them. I made stock. I made the Duncan stock. And I want you to know, it came out really good. I use a regular thing like you do, like you make a chicken soup. I use a leeks, two leeks, and uh, one um, white onion, and carrots, and celery. You know, it was a big pot, so I had to use more of what I use, you know, which, how you make a chicken stock. The same thing. It came out really, really, really good. I did. And today, I had enough left over to make a to Duncan pot pie. Boy, this is gonna be bad. I wish you could smell this. It smells good already. What I did was um, take the leftovers that we had, which wasn't a whole lot. The kids tried to eat it all, but I said no, because I wanted to do this. So I have the to Duncan in there with a little bit of dressing with it too, some chicken and duck, all in right in there. And then what I did, I took the, um, the to Duncan stock, and when, once I boiled it all, you know, got it to where I wanted to, it's, it cooked in, Everything was discarded, and I strained it and all that stuff. I let it set overnight, and the fat came to the top, and I skimmed the fat off, and I just had pure broth there. It was really just very good. So I got some mixed vegetables. Let me stand up for this. Ooh. I got some mixed vegetables, and I cooked them frozen, frozen mixed vegetables, a bag of 12-ounce frozen mixed vegetables. And I cooked them, see that? I cooked them by themselves, not in the broth. I cooked it by itself in the water, a little bit of salted water. I waited till it was almost done. Then I turned it off and drained it out. Then I took the broth and I took out a half a cup of broth and I put in a tablespoon of, of cornstarch that I put aside, set it separately. And then when I mixed it all up, I put it all back together in, in the broth because I want this to thicken up, right? So I used a little cornstarch. So this is the cornstarch in there with the uh, mixed vegetables and all that. So now I'm going to take this. And it's, it's not hard to do at all. It's very easy. I take this, I'm going to spoon this in here, right? I want you to see what I'm doing here because this is not hard to do. You could do this separately and still get the same sort of effect if you didn't make it a Duncan. If you just want to do a duck and, and make it separately and layer it, I mean, take the skin off and just get duck breast. If you can get by duck breast, I don't know if you can do that or not, but you may be able to get uh, some duck breast and some chicken, layer chicken, and layer it and put it in a crust and you'll be you're just fine. That looks like pretty good measuring there. I'm going to put some of this in here. That's pretty good. That looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to mix it up together. And I'm going to put this right in that little pot pie there. I bought those little ceramic dishes yesterday. It cost me $3 and change at, at Walmart. You can put them in the oven. You can put them in the freezer. They, have, they come in little tops. And you can freeze it afterwards. It's wonderful. So I'm going to put it in there now. Just like that. This is going to be so good. To duck and pot pie. Boy, that's a bad monkey there. It tastes so, I wish you could smell this, because it really smells really good. I got pieces of this, I have pieces of the, of the, um, the truffles. What's in the, in the, the I got pieces of truffles in here. It's good, it's good, it's good. Now see that, I'm going to lay it right just like that. Put it right on top like that. That's going to be so good. A little bit more sauce, a little bit more broth, I mean. A little bit more broth. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm going to take this, my top, put it on top just like that. I've got a little egg wash right here. I'm going to lay, I'm gonna, um, just uh, go around the top over here. I should have done this before. I didn't think about it just now, but I had it out there. I was going to do it. Just took a little egg wash and wipe it so it sticks on there good so when, you, when it starts to bubble up, it won't come apart. Okay, so now, I take my fork and press it in there. Press it together. I got two more to do, but right now I just want to show you how to do the first one here. So this is not hard to do. And take, a, take your fork and put the little, you know, you know how to do. You know, we, we ain't no amateur cooks here. I'm sure I'm looking at some, somebody looking at me and saying, I can do that. You sure can. Praise the Lord. Right, I'm going to put this in the oven. 
I'm gonna put the two more in the oven, and it's gonna be in there till the brown until it starts bubbling. And I'm gonna take it out, boy. It's gonna be all right. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, hi y'all. I'm back. Now I put the three of them in the oven in there. That that chicken, that not chicken, to Duncan pot pie, and I brush the top of them with a little bit of butter, so it gives a nice coloring glaze and it'll brown nice. Okay, I did do that. So now I'm gonna make some just simple soup, the same red vegetables that I use for the Traduncan pot pie, I'm using for the Traduncan vegetable soup. You Actually, everything is already cooked. You just, just put it together. So it's very easy. And by the way, the crust that I made for the um, Traduncan pot pie, I didn't make that crust. Let me show you something right quick. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go away. Just, I'll be right back. I took some ordinary pie crust. Ordinary pie crust. And I let it thaw out. And I cut it in squares like this, in, in squares, and I took it and laid it down around inside the Traduncan little bowl. And it made its own little crust, and I took it and cut out a round thing and put it on top. So it's not a lot of things to do, unless you want to make your crust from scratch. You know, a lot of people like to make pastry, a pastry from scratch, and that's fine, but not me, child. Like, like, listen, the easiest way for me, the best way, as long as I ain't gonna kill you, I'm gonna use it. So now, that's what I did with the, uh, with the, the Duncan pot pie. Now, all we're going to do is assemble, assemble this for the Traduncan vegetable soup, which is not a big deal. The same vegetable, like you took the half of it was for the Traduncan pot pie, the other half of making the soup. I use thin spaghetti, which is a, a angel hair spaghetti, because I, li I like it. So, that's what I use. I'm going to take some, put it, now these are little crock pots. When I fill this up, I'm going to put this in the microwave and heat it up. It's going to be delicious. The broth is off the chain. I can't tell you. If you can't do this and you don't want to do that, then make your own, you know, turkey broth off. You can buy turkey broth. Make sure you look at the ingredients. Don't forget, don't forget to look at the dates. You know me about them dates on the things. Make sure whatever date that you buy stuff at, the day you buy it, search around and make sure you got that outside, the longest outside date you can possibly get so you know them things have been sitting on the shelf for like a year already, okay? So do that. Anyway, I'm going to take this. I've already cooked it. And I'm going to put some in here. Right? I like doing stuff like this. I love to cook. I really do. But I cook in some other stuff, too. Gonna, you're going to find that after a while. Don't worry. Oh, I'm Elaine, and I'm cooking, baby. And a lot of things. So anyway, I'll just put a little bit of noodles in there like that, right? And I take my, I cut my meat up. This is to the duck in the trio also. I cut it up in like sort of slivers. Well, I like mine like that. Like I said, some people like chunks. I like slivers. I put some of the, uh, the, the pork sausage is in there too. That's in there too. So it's in the other one also. So you put some in there. Get it all in there nice. Let nothing be lost. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Anyhow, when you do this, See that? It looks really nice, really pretty. Hey, take it back. I'm gonna show you. It's gonna look so good. It's gonna, and it tastes so that broth. I'm telling you, it's, it's kicking. That's enough of that in there. Take this and spoon it in. That is so good. Oh, that's so good. It's just, you know, leftovers. Leftovers, don't throw them away. Oh, girl, use your head for something other than a hat rack. I learned that a long time ago. You just think of things and it'll come to you. When you're hungry, you think a lot of things to do. You ain't gonna throw it away, I tell you that. So you do this. Look how pretty that looks too with the vegetables in it. And this, this is frozen vegetables. I didn't know, uh, you know, I didn't go snapping peas and carrying on. If you wanna do all that, then fine. I don't have a problem with that. I'll sleep just as good. Okay, but for me, I use frozen vegetables. They are just as good to take this and pour it in there. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Mm. I'll pour that in there. Broth. Oh, wow. That's really nice. It really is. Take that and mix it up. Oh, look at that. That is great. And that's it. Take a couple pats of butter. If you want butter, put a, a, a slice of butter, you know. Nothing big, you don't need to look greasy. See that? A little piece of butter, stick that in there. Stick that in there. Okay, put your tops on. And in the microwave it goes. 
Come on, let me try to get this one off. Sorry about that. Made a lot of noise, I know. I'm not perfect, okay? Take this. I'm going to put it in the microwave for about mm, three minutes. Three, minutes, three or four minutes, three and a half minutes. I'll go and check and see if it's nice and warmed up. Because it's already cooked, so you don't have to do a whole lot of stuff to this. It's good. And you're going to love it. Well, I'm going to love it because you can't smell it. You can't taste it. But, child, let me tell you something. Hi, I'm back. And I'm telling you, look at this. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, I'm Elaine and I'm cooking, baby. Look at that. That's just from putting it together. Leftovers. 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 Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Leftovers. Thank God for leftovers. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I can't eat it right now because it's too hot. You see that steam coming out of there? Can you see that steam? It's really hot. But you just, just heat it up about three minutes in the microwave and you get this. Look at that. Wonderful. A wonderful. There's some crackers on the side of that. And boy, you're in business. Yeah, yeah, you're in business. Now, the pot pie came out really good. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna do it. Yes, I am. Yes, I got that. What's in there? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is juicy, 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 and juicy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh Lord. Look at it. It's steaming. Mmm. It's too hot. I can't eat it. It's too hot. But can, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see? Can you see that? Boy, that thing. That is good. I'm gonna put it on the side so you can really see inside there. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, and it's going to set when it sets and it gels together. Really, It's, it's going to be really awesome. Well, I got a couple more things to show you. And it's going to blow your socks off. I ain't kidding. Well, you like pizza, right? Well, Lord have mercy. I'm making a Dunkin' pizza. The most expensive pizza I ever had in my entire life, okay? Hold on. Don't go away. I'm just going to put this on the side. And we're going to go right at it. And Ruthie, my, my granddaughter, going to have this. The soup. She said, oh, man, it smells so good. I said, you can have one. Said, okay. So I'm going to have gonna have some soup. And she'll probably take home one of the pot pies, too. I got to pay her something. You know what I mean? Anything they ain't done for free. And they, nobody does nothing for free these days. But she does. I'm only joking. That's my baby. Now, a pizza crust. Whatever one you want to use. I got this one here. It's a small pizza crust. It's right here. Now, where's my spoon at? What I do with it? I'm forever losing things. You see that, right? But it's all, it's all good. I will find it. it Betty, you know something? Right, right? Okay, let me just use this. Pizza sauce. Right? And you know what I put in it? I had a, I had some turducken broth left. I put some in there. Yes, I did. I take it and spread your sauce over. You know, spread it over. This is gonna be so good. And it's so simple. I put some to Duncan sauce, some Duncan uh, broth in the, in the pizza sauce. Who does that? I do. I do lots of people don't do. Experiment. Experiment with your food. If you have the time to do it, experiment with your food. But I've been I've been experimenting for about 30 years, so you know, I'm sort of old pro at experimenting. Going from store to store, checking out prices. I mean, I go to three. I, have, I go to three different stores. I'm here in Tennessee, and I still go to three different stores to get different things that I like. You know, I don't buy everything at the same store. I just don't, and I don't buy things too close to my house. <laughs> I, buy, I go to another part of town and buy stuff. All right, y'all got that? So sometimes you have to do that, depending on you know if you're satisfied with your neighborhood store, then more power to you. If you're not, then go someplace else where you are satisfied. But this is what I do. This is, I love to cook. I really do. It's something I, I've been doing for a long time, and uh, I find it very pleasing, and people enjoy my cooking. They tell me I'm a very good cook, and it, it does my heart good to see people smile when they eat your food. You know, you don't want to, people eating your food, and they're making a face. They're trying not to, you know, they say, well, I got to go to, you know, somebody got to go somewhere real fast, and you're in trouble. Now, these are like the bits and pieces that was left from Mr. Duncan. I got the sauces in there, too, and I found some little pieces of truffle. This is the most expensive piece I ever had. You take this and you sprinkle it over. Come on, look at that. That's going to be so good. I ain't kidding. <laughs> sprinkle it over your pizza. <laughs> Who does things like this? I don't know, to Dunkin' Pizza. Well, we got one today. Yeah, buddy. It is good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. 
I can I can still smell the stuff from the Dunkin'. That's the one wonderful thing about leftovers. You don't have to reseason them; they already seasoned. You just do something else with it. I don't know, leftover queen. I don't know. Let me get myself a new name here. But I tell you, I like doing stuff like this. So you know, leftovers. When I mean, you have three children, you're not rich. Not a rich person. You have to make do. You have to make your your, your meals interesting. And what I do is sometimes I have a lot of times. About one time I was working two jobs, and I didn't have time to make everything from scratch. Oh please, make a thing from scratch. What you be the kids be sitting there hollering, hungry, and you making something from scratch? Child, you better do what you got to do. Now this is bell peppers and onions. You know the trio, red and green bell peppers and, and some onions. Just sprinkle that in there. Sprinkle it on there. See, the only thing that I got was fresh, fresh, fresh. Okay, it actually is frozen, so it still works. Amen. You do what you got to do, baby, and your kids will love you. To duck and pizza, Lord have mercy. Who would have thought it? I did. I thought about it. And it's all good. Now, I found, I wouldn't find this. I was looking in the store, and I just happened to run across this. So let me put my glasses on so I can tell you what it is. Okay, this is a, this is Parmesan, basil, and oregano in the Parmesan cheese. Boy, this is good. Take some of that and sprinkle that on there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I know I'm cooking now. <laughs> some good stuff, honey. Yes. Oh, that's going to taste so, so good. And she's going to take some of this home, too. I know she is. That's okay. That's my baby. She can take it home. Today's my birthday, y'all. I'm 64 years old today. And if anybody say I look it, I'll, I'll come right through that camera, okay? Don't, don't you say it. But anyway, I'm having a good time. I'm having fun at 64 years old. Yeah, have some fun sometime, please. You can't be serious all the time. You go to your grave with a frown on your face. I refuse to do it. The devil is a lie. But anyhow, this is my cheese, my mozzarella cheese, right? Take this. Sprinkle your mozzarella. Doesn't that look good? That look good. Don't that look good? Can you see that? Can you get up close? Get up close with that. I want them to see, really see that. That really looks good. It is all leftovers, except for this and the peppers. You know, and the, the, the pizza sauce. If you want to make your own pizza sauce, then, then make it, please. I will sleep good. I certainly will, every night. You take this, this stuff, and, and look at that. Sprinkle it over. Now, my pizza pan has holes in it, so it's going to cook. It's going to make my pizza real crispy, but I like thin crust pizza. For those of you who like deep, deep dish pizza, well, then do a deep dish. But I like this. I'm going to do it just like that. Look at that. I'm going to get into one of them pies before the night's over. You know that, right? Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get into one of them pies. I'm going to get into some of that soup, too. You ain't taking both of them home. Mm. Unless you take one home because you're so sweet. She's just my grandbaby. She is so sweet to me. She said, Nana. Hey, she woke me up at 12 o'clock, 12.15 last night to wish me happy birthday. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that was so nice. She woke me up to say happy birthday to me. I thought they said, oh, my baby woke me up to say happy birthday. That was sweet. Of course, my kids did, too. They, they called me later on in the day and wished Mama happy birthday. I said, that's so sweet of to do that. I like a lot of cheese, y'all, so, you know, just bear with me when I get this cheese on here, honey. I, like, I do like a lot of cheese. So I'm going to put this in the oven, and when the cheese melts, it is ready. And I'm going to cut it, and she's going to take it home. And I got one more surprise for you. I had to know that turkey was big, 22-pound turkey. That's a lot of, lot of turkey. And we had other meats, too, so I had a nice big chunk of turkey breast left. And wait till you see what I'm doing with that. I'll make some turkey salad. Lord have mercy. I'm Elaine and I'm cooking. I really, I'm just pleased. I'm going to put this in the oven. The oven's still on. It's at 400 degrees. Everything I cooked at 400 degrees because everything, everything's already really cooked. You don't have to cook it over again. You're just leaving it for a little time to get the flavors through again. And then you're ready. So let me go put this in the oven. I'll be back in a minute. Okay? And, ooh, don't that look pretty? That look nice. I made a Trudunkin pizza. Get out. Wow. I'll be back in a minute. Hi, I'm back again. This is the last thing for the day, okay? This is my turkey salad. It really is good. The meat, the turkey meat, when I, it was so thick, the breast was so thick. Remember when I tenderized a little bit? All that flavor from the Trudunkin and everything got through that meat. And believe me, I wish you could really smell this. It really smells really, really good. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is Trudunkin broth, right? Oh, Lord. 
Mm. I'm gonna pull that around in there. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I wouldn't dare do it without it. You know, mix that up in there really good, get it through the meat. And I, I had this about eight cups, actually like eight cups of uh, turkey breast, believe it or not, it really is. I take mine and put it in the food process and I get it fine like that because what I can do with mine, when you do that, you can use it in a pate, you can use it in a, um, on crackers, you can put it in a, you know, a salad, put it on a head of lettuce, it comes out really good. So now, this is, I put the Dunkin' broth in there, and if you want to do this with your chicken broth, chicken salad, and you have leftover chicken, use chicken broth, put it in there. It just is the same thing. Anyway, I took two stalks of celery hearts, and I ground it up, and I, this is, this is what's in here, celery hearts, and also onion, white onion. That's one small white onion that is in there. I mix it together, okay? You don't want to overpower your stuff. You want the flavors to come through on everything that you cook. You don't want to overpower anything. Once you get the flavors, you, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. And that is enough. That's enough uh, celery in there and onion to really flavor, flavor the food without overpowering it. You want to be able to taste it and have a nice mild taste of everything so you can really enjoy your food. Don't ever overdo. Balance, balance, balance is good in everything. You have to be balanced in everything you do. You go too far to the right, too far to the left, you're off. So learn how to do balance things. Test, retest, do it again. Now I'm using Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm using Hellman's mayonnaise because that's his Hellman's, then there's Kraft, then there's Miracle Whip. Hellman's is the, a little on the bland side, but you need this for this because I don't want to taste, I don't want myself sharp like that. Uh, Kraft is the next step up, it's a little bit sharper. Then you got Miracle Whip, it's really sharp. Okay? So use your Hellman's mayonnaise, put as much as you need in there. I'm going to start off with this. Do you see that? Two nice little lumps. Mix it in real good. That depends on how, what I'm looking for in a salad. If I want it more crumbly, then I'll leave it like that. But no, to me, I, I like mine so almost like a pate, so I'll put a lot more in there. I'll end up probably using a half a jar of this. Or more. Like I said, I like, I like mine to, to be like a pate. I can spread it. I can use it in a sandwich. Put some lettuce and tomatoes on that bad boy and I'm, I'm gone. Leftovers. Honey, please. Don't, ever, don't you ever throw your leftovers away. Think about, you know, what you can do with it. And then go ahead and, and experiment and do it. If you mess it up, it's leftovers. It's not something you cook, you know what I mean? So it's not like you, you're cooking it from scratch. The leftovers are leftovers. And look at that. Look how it's looking already. I have never had anybody complain about my cooking yet. Please. So far, everybody who has tasted it say they like it. And, uh, you know, that makes me feel good. It really does make me feel good to know that people like my cooking. So, see, I like, look at that. Now, see, now it's getting to the consistency that I like. See that? Now, that's almost like a... Almost a third, one, about a third, a little over a third uh, of a jar of mayonnaise. I can taste this is not hot. So, and I know it's good. And I don't even have to put no salt and pepper in it because it's already seasoned. It's already seasoned, so I don't have to do all that. I mean, you're putting more salt and pepper, what for? The meat's already seasoned, all you're doing is put more ingredients in it to enhance it some more. Now, this is good, look at that. That really is good. Let me get a, here's a fork right here. I'm just going to taste that and see. Let me see now. Oh, yeah. That's on the money. Mmm, 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 mmm. You can put this on some crackers. You can put this in a big shell, big jumbo shells, and serve it as an appetizer. Oh, numerous things. Spread it on, oh, child, just, just eat, okay? I'm Elaine Penner, and I'm cooking. Now, I'm going to try to have something for you next week. A little bit special. Christmas is coming. We'll see. I'm going to enjoy my birthday a little bit. After today, I'll probably just go, go to bed. Today is the 5th, so you probably won't see this until tomorrow, which is Friday. But anyhow, I love you. I hope you enjoy your holiday. Be safe. Don't get out there and get stupid, okay? Don't be a knothead. Don't have me come through that thing there and tell you about yourself, all right? Just be careful driving. You know what's out there. So be careful, all right? Okay, I'll see you next time. I'm Elaine Penn, and I'm cooking. Bye-bye. Oh, guys, I forgot about the pizza. Look, it came out.
Delicious. Look at that pizza. Ugh. I'm gonna cut it. 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 Yeah, buddy. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Look at that pizza. Will you look at that pizza? Yes, Ruthie, you can have some, okay? I see she's smiling at me with a big old Cheshire grin on her face. Yes, you can have some. Well, you guys, I almost forgot what Ruthie said. Natalie, you didn't take the pizza out. I said, oh, the pizza. So here it is. It came out delicious. And it's homemade and it's leftovers. Isn't that great? Oh, I'm so glad I did this. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you enjoy watching this. It, and it gives you some ideas to do on your own when you're cooking. You know, this is just to give you some ideas of what to do and perhaps a, a, a couple of recipes of a personal mind that I'll bring out and share with you that you can, you know, use at home. It's something simple to do so you don't have to be breaking your neck of, you know, what am I going to do now? So this will be something that's, you know, the most easy stuff you can do just for yourself. But this is great. This is really great. Okay. I'll see you guys later. My name is Anna.